How's it going YouTube? Got the Emacs Baby Hawk here. We're going to install a satellite receiver, which a satellite receiver needs 3.3. Um, you will notice here that there is a pin out on the front right there, but that is not where you're going to get your 3.3 for. You're from. You're going to get your 3.3 clear back here, right underneath that red wire. There's two pads, and the left pad is the 3.3. So the question is how to get to it. Well, it's actually not as difficult as it kind of looks. If you flip it over here and your battery strap is running up and down, this screw and this screw both come out. And then I took off one prop because you can get it off without one prop. This upper cover here has two snaps on it. I'll show you, you put fingernail underneath one there, pop. Fingernail underneath the other one, pop. And you do that on each one around. And then this white section here will lift completely up over the camera. You can get there real easy and remove the camera and then do your soldering. Now, please do note that you do have to kind of push flex this here right here just a little tiny bit to get it up over top of that camera. I left my cap on. It may have been easier without it, but I didn't want to take a chance of uh, scratching the lens. So once you get that, then you got that up off. Then if you come over here and look on the bottom, you've got one, two three and four and those are both the screws with the nuts here on the side that hold the camera mount okay so now that you have that undone you will notice that your camera easily comes out of the way and you got a full nice view of the board let's start here by looking at the pins on the front of the drone i'll put my finger in front of it get the camera to focus the one over here on the far left is your signal connection which you are going to use that for the satellite rx and then the one over here, clear on the far right, is your ground. So you have over here, your signal right there, your ground right there, and then here on your two boot pads. Yeah, there's the two boot pads right above the tip there. The one right on this side underneath my the red wire there is your... 3.3 volt for a satellite so you need to solder your 3.3 power to there and then you can use these two outer ones for your signal I said again signal here and ground there I'm going to be using the lemon DSMX satellite or RX and I'll go ahead and tell you the pin out for that to the far left with the label facing up far left is the 3.3 the center is the ground and the far right coming out is the signal. Okay guys, I'm going to throw that up here on the, the channel. I hope that helps some of you guys out. I know the Baby Hawks, uh, those of us that pre-ordered them, they shipped out real quick and I haven't seen anybody explain them how to install a Spectrum-based satellite RX. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, I'll have this in the description, I'll have any links that you need and also a link to where you can get a copy of the, the layout for the entire FM2 F3 board. So any of you guys that are doing any of the other RXs can look at that and have a good layout. All right, hey, please subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. we got a full review coming up of the Baby Hawk and all kinds of information on that. Also going to do battery testing and a bunch of other things. And we're going to throw in some better ESCs. And I'm even working on a 4S battery that I'm throwing together because we can't find one right now that's light enough. So I'm building one and we're going to do all kinds of testing on it. So if you're looking forward to that, please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. Happy flights.